Welcome back to the News Unboxed, bringing you the latest news from around the world. The world depends on rare earth elements, obscure minerals that are absolutely essential to modern life. They power the smartphones in our pockets, the batteries in electric cars, and the advanced defense systems that keep nations secure. From the tiniest microchips to the largest wind turbines, rare earths are the invisible backbone of our technology-driven society. For decades, China has dominated the global supply, controlling over 80% of the world's rare earth production. This near monopoly has created a strategic vulnerability for the rest of the world, leaving industries and governments at the mercy of Chinese exports and policy decisions. Any disruption in this supply chain can send shockwaves through global markets. But now, the front line of this high-stakes race has shifted to Southeast Asia, a region rich in untapped potential and strategic importance. As global demand for rare earths continues to surge, countries in this region are stepping into the spotlight. The Philippines, a nation of over 7,000 islands, has uncovered a massive rare earth deposit inside a dormant volcano. This discovery, hidden beneath the lush landscapes of Mount Apo, could transform the country's fortunes and reshape the global resource map. Announced in August 2025, this find is more than just a geological event, it's a potential turning point that could redraw the lines of economic power and influence. The world's eyes are now fixed on the Philippines, as analysts and investors scramble to understand the implications. For the Philippines, it's a pivotal moment, a chance for prosperity, job creation, and a new role on the world stage. The nation stands at the threshold of a new era, with the promise of economic growth and technological advancement within reach. The find has sent shockwaves through governments and corporations from Washington to Beijing. Policymakers, industry leaders, and strategists are all recalibrating their plans in response to this seismic shift in the rare earth landscape. The concentration of supply in one country has long been a risk. This discovery could break that stranglehold. By introducing a new major player, the Philippines could help balance the scales and reduce the world's dependence on a single source. It promises to diversify the supply chain, lower costs, and foster global stability. International partnerships and investments are already being discussed as companies look to secure access to these newly discovered resources. The world is watching closely. Every development is being scrutinized by journalists, investors, and governments alike, all eager to see how this story unfolds. What happens next in the Philippines will have global consequences, influencing everything from technology manufacturing to international relations and environmental policy. This is a story of opportunity, but also of profound challenges. The path forward will require careful management of resources, environmental stewardship, and a commitment to ensuring that the benefits reach all Filipinos. The journey to unlock this hidden wealth is just beginning, and the world will be watching every step of the way. Rare Earth Elements, or REs, aren't actually rare, at least, not in the way you might think. In fact, these elements are found all over the Earth's crust, scattered in small amounts almost everywhere. But here's the catch, they're rarely found in concentrations high enough to make mining them economically viable. Extracting them is a complex costly process, and finding deposits that are rich enough to mine profitably is a real challenge for geologists and mining companies worldwide. The rare earth family consists of 17 metallic elements, including neodymium, dysprosium, and yttrium. Each one has unique magnetic, luminescent, or electrochemical properties that make them essential for modern technology. These elements are the backbone of electric vehicles, wind turbines, smartphones, and advanced defense systems. Without them, many of the devices and green technologies we rely on every day simply wouldn't function. Their unique properties make them indispensable to the high-tech, green energy future. They're used in powerful magnets, rechargeable batteries, lasers, and even in the screens of your favorite gadgets. Today, China controls over 60% of global rare earth mining and a staggering 80% of refining capacity, giving it enormous leverage over the world's supply chain. In 2010, China cut off REE exports to Japan during a diplomatic dispute, sending shockwaves through global markets and exposing just how vulnerable the world was to supply disruptions. Since then, countries around the globe have scrambled to diversify supply chains, invest in new mining projects, and reduce dependence on a single source. The search for a game-changing discovery has been relentless, with scientists and explorers scouring the planet for new deposits that could shift the balance of power. Now, that breakthrough has arrived, not in the Americas or Australia, but in a Philippine volcano, 
where a massive new deposit has just been uncovered. This could be the turning point the world has been waiting for, potentially reshaping the global rare earth market and reducing China's dominance. The stakes are high, and the race is on as nations and companies rush to secure their share of this critical resource. With this discovery, the Philippines is suddenly at the center of it all, poised to play a pivotal role in the future of technology and global industry. Mount Apo, the Philippines' highest and most majestic peak, rises above the lush landscapes of Mindanao, its slopes shrouded in mist and legend. This dormant volcano is not only a natural wonder, but also a sacred site revered by the indigenous Lumad peoples who have called its forests home for generations. Protected as a national park, Mount Apo is a sanctuary for rare wildlife and a symbol of cultural heritage. Recently, a team of geologists and scientists embarked on a series of detailed surveys, collecting soil and rock samples from the crater and surrounding slopes. Their findings would soon send ripples through the scientific community. They discovered that the crater soil is exceptionally rich in rare earth elements, vital minerals used in everything from smartphones to electric vehicles and renewable energy technologies. The region's unique volcanic history, with its cycles of eruption and renewal, created the perfect geological conditions for these minerals to accumulate over millennia. The deposit is primarily ion adsorption clay, the same type that propelled China to dominance in the rare earth market. Extracting rare earth elements from this clay is far simpler and less energy intensive than traditional hard rock mining. This process is not only more cost effective, but also allows for faster production, though it still poses significant environmental challenges that must be carefully managed. With this discovery, the Philippines is suddenly positioned to become a major player in the global rare earth supply chain, potentially accelerating its entry into international markets much sooner than anyone anticipated. Dr. Carlo Arcilla, a leading geologist and director of the Philippine Nuclear Research Institute, believes this deposit could transform the nation's economic landscape, creating new opportunities for industry, jobs, and technological advancement. Mount Apo, long celebrated as a symbol of natural power and resilience, now stands at the heart of a new era, one defined by innovation, resourcefulness, and the promise of prosperity. The discovery is not just a geological breakthrough, it's a strategic turning point for the Philippines, with implications for global supply chains and international relations. As news spreads, the world's attention is now fixed on this once quiet mountain, watching closely as the next chapter in Mount Apo's story unfolds. Early estimates suggest Mount Apo could hold one of the world's largest rare earth deposits. Its value may reach hundreds of billions, even trillions over the mine's lifetime. This single find could double the Philippines' mineral reserves and alter its economic trajectory. The world consumes 200,000 metric tons of rare earths annually, a number set to double soon. If realized, Mount Apo could challenge China's dominance and disrupt the global supply chain. Analysts predict the Philippines could capture a major market share within five to seven years. For the Philippines, the economic impact could be transformative, funding infrastructure, education, and healthcare. Tens of thousands of jobs could be created, especially in underdeveloped Mindanao. The nation stands on the brink of a new era. The discovery electrified Manila, prompting swift government action. President Marcos Jr. called it a game changer, promising responsible and sustainable development. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources is fast-tracking a regulatory framework for Mount Apo. The government aims to process and refine rare earths domestically, capturing more value and creating skilled jobs. Plans include a sovereign wealth fund to invest mining revenues for long-term national benefit. The goal, avoid the resource curse and ensure prosperity reaches all Filipinos. Careful planning is underway to turn this discovery into a lasting legacy. The stakes are high, but so is the potential reward. The Philippines is determined to seize this moment. The Mount Apo discovery drew immediate global attention. Mining giants from the US, Australia, Japan, and Europe are eager to partner with the Philippines. Billions in investment and cutting-edge technology are on offer. Manila now has leverage to demand not just money, but expertise and environmental safeguards. The government will open a transparent, competitive bidding process for exploration licenses. Only partners committed to sustainability and national interest will be chosen. The world's powers see this as a chance to reshape the rare earth supply chain. The Philippines is open for business on its own terms. Mount Apo's rare earths could transform the Philippine economy. 
the project promises tens of thousands of jobs, especially in Mindanao, lifting communities out of poverty. Government revenues could fund new infrastructure, education, and healthcare. A sovereign wealth fund would secure benefits for future generations. Domestic processing could spark a high-tech manufacturing boom. The Philippines could move from raw exporter to producer of advanced components. This is a chance to build a self-reliant, innovative economy. The vision, a stronger, more prosperous nation. The opportunity is historic. But the path forward is fraught with challenges. Mount Apo is a national park, home to endangered species and sacred to indigenous Lumad communities. Environmental groups and indigenous leaders fear mining could devastate ecosystems and displace communities. Even with advanced methods, chemical leaching risks contaminating water and forests, the Lumad face existential threats to their land and culture. Philippine law protects their rights, but history shows these are often ignored. The government must balance national ambition with environmental and social justice. The world is watching to see if the Philippines can set a new standard for responsible mining. The stakes are as much ethical as they are economic. The Mount Apo discovery places the Philippines at a crossroads. The nation could unlock unprecedented prosperity and global influence. But the risks, corruption, inequality, environmental damage, are real. The rights of indigenous communities and the health of the ecosystem must be protected. Success depends on transparency, strong institutions, and public accountability. Wealth must be managed wisely, benefiting all Filipinos, not just a few. The government must engage all stakeholders from corporations to local communities. This is a test of the Philippines' ability to balance progress with preservation. The choices made now will echo for generations. The world is watching as the nation writes its next chapter.